So one of my biggest kryptonites is either chocolate or coffee. I'm not sure which one is worse. So in this video, I figured I would share with you how to make chocolate coffee truffles. They are my favorite. I make about once a year and I make it for friends, neighbors, teachers as gifts and they love it. It's so good. And normally if you go buy them, they're really expensive, but they're really not that hard to make. So let's go spice things up. Okay, so you'll want one cup of heavy whipping cream and one teaspoon of instant coffee and whisk that together so that the coffee dissolves and the cream gets hot. Once it starts bubbling up, you'll want to turn off your heat and you'll want to add one cup of bittersweet chocolate and a cup of semi-sweet chocolate and I use this brand. This is better chocolate. And you don't want your chocolate to burn, so you want to constantly stir it. And what you are making is a ganache. And now you'll want to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And my mother-in-law brought this back from her travels. So this is good stuff. So one teaspoon of vanilla. And stir that in. Oh, it smells lovely. And then you want to use one tablespoon of coffee liqueur. Um, this is Kahlua. This is actually homemade Kahlua. If you want to know how to make your own, I will link the video below. Anyways, just one tablespoon and put it right in. And now you want to get like a glass bowl or a container that has a lid on and just pour it right in there. now you just want to put the lid on. Now you want to put this in the fridge until it hardens. And yes, it is my beer fridge, but basically just have it until it hardens. Um, but if you don't really want to deal with it or wait for it, you'll just want to just put it in overnight. It just makes it easier. All right, guys, so I love the holidays and I love all the Christmas magic, the holiday magic that goes along with it. So I figured you could take along and you can see what inspires me for the holidays. Alright, we are back and you can see the chocolate has firmed up, it has hardened, so now we are ready for the next step. Okay, so now you want to get a pan that is lined with parchment paper and you'll want to get like a melon ball or you can get an ice cream scoop or even a teaspoon. I like the melon scoops because they're kind of sharp on the end and it's easier to get the chocolate out. This is the messy part, so you want to just scoop it out. and form little balls like this. Put it on the pan and then just roll it in your hand so it's a nice ball. And this is the messiest part and this is the part that takes the longest. So just keep doing it until you're done with the chocolate. All right, all done. You can see there's a bunch. All right, so now you wanna put your truffles in the fridge for about 15 minutes just to harden again. So it's been 15 minutes and these have hardened up, which you want it like that so that you can dip them in chocolate. Okay, so I just took the rest of the package of my dark chocolate and my semi-sweet chocolate, or bittersweet and semi-sweet chocolate, so I can dip them in. So you'll wanna get one of the truffles and just kinda put them 
on something. You can even use a skewer and then just dip it in. Make sure it's coated with the chocolate. And then just put, them, put it on your parchment paper. And you'll just wanna to continue to do that in each type of chocolate until they are all coated with chocolate. And also before this hardens, you'll want to add a little bit of pretty sparkly Christmas flakes. So I just use sprinkles and these are red and green just for Christmas. And then for me, I like to put them back in the fridge just to harden the outer chocolate shell just for about another 15 minutes. All right, so I hope you enjoyed making this special holiday chocolate treat with me. And let's give it a try. Mmm, mmm. Oh man. Can you see? Mmm. It's got a nice little hard shell around the outside. And then the inside is nice and moist and so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Melts in my mouth and my hand. No. <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, so good. Now, my husband, he loves these too. And he will eat them all if he has a chance to. Well, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Bye, and see you in the next video.